Hey vlog buddies, what's up? Randy206 in the house once again. As you can tell, uh, sorry, gum. Um, still a little bit sick, but you know, it's okay. It's not like when I was dying last week. Um, right now I'm not on the hard stuff. I'm not on Theraflu. I'm just on NyQuil, but I'm gonna go back to the hard stuff tonight. Um, yeah, what's new? When on, it's spring break. <gasps> wow! Um, <coughs> <coughs> again with the dying. Yeah, my last ever spring break, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, went to the Grand Canyon, went to Four Corners, Monument Valley, just a, a three and a half-ish day road trip with friends, and it was good. It was chill. I gotta, oh, I gotta cross things off the list. Yeah. The before I graduate list. So there's um, Monument Valley and there's Four Corners. So I still need to, you know, go to Europe, go to Mexico, attend an NHL game. Eat at Oregano's, Four Peaks, Trompies, The Vine, grow facial hair, gamble in Las Vegas, you know. Um, besides that, I mean, things are things are pretty good here at the old ASU. Uh, the men are and women are in the Pac-10 tournament tonight, and the, uh, the men won for the first time since 1990. Funny story, uh, not really funny. Um, I went to the men's Pac-10 tournament for the past three years because they suck so much, and I never had enough seniority. They lost the first night, we went home the next day, every single year, until this year, when they're awesome and I'm not going, but, um, I'm gonna go to the NCAAs, which is, which is good. Um, don't know what else I should, I should touch on for the vlog. I have, oh, give me a moment. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. In my phone, I typed up some, some notes, sort of, of things I wanted to talk about in the vlog, because... As you all learned, that whole concept of me asking thoughtful questions, that didn't really work. So, time out, time out, time out. I know, sorry Candace, I know it's going long here. Notes. Yeah, that's right, I rock iPhone. I rock iPhone and MacBook and I'm an, I was called an Apple whore the other day at school. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. I know what I'll talk about. Um, I don't know how many of you have been on Metro Light Rail um, here in the Valley of the Sun, but it opened December 27th. I have the privilege of riding it at least two times a day to the downtown Phoenix campus. Sometimes I ride it more for fun later in the day to go to work. Sometimes I'll take it to work at the airport. Um, something funny I've noticed that I kind of want to throw out there for the vlogsters and See if maybe you notice the same thing. Every single time I get on the train, there's a group of six to ten old white people that came from an RV park, like Snowbirds, in uh, in like East Mesa or Apache Junction, and they just ride the train. They park at the end of the line in Mesa, and they ride an hour to the end of the line in, in Phoenix in Christown, and then they come back, and they just can't get enough of it. They think it's the the most interesting thing ever. And I and I understand it is very futuristic and like they don't use public transportation, but I they it's just so great. I, th I think it's just really funny. Um, other light rail things that I really appreciate. Um, sometimes people will just this is oh god this happened all the time during the All Star game. People would wait for people to come out. Sometimes they, like, getting in, people don't board quickly enough. The guy will shut the doors on you, and you have to, they put their arm in there like it's a grocery store door, like it's going to open back up. No, you have to pry that crap open if you want to get in, so board quickly. The other thing that pisses me off, if there are any Sun Devils watching, is when you board the train, and you're an ASU student, you have this, um... It's called the, the Platinum Pass, and I have here, it's here in my wallet. Looks a little something like this, Valley Metro, on the back, ASU student. And here you can see the little instructions. It says, use card where you see this symbol. So like on the bus, you just tap it against the thing. On the train, you um, tap it against a similar thing at the ticket vending machine. And... If people just don't tap it, well, sorry guys, you're going to get a ticket if you don't tap it. The fare inspector can tell when you last activated the card. Um, they're really getting ghetto on ridership numbers and people tapping the thing, so tap your thing. Oh, speaking of which, sorry. I'm using Quick Capture right now, so I'm not going to edit this and 
put the picture in there for everyone to see, but I think me pulling it up on my phone will do it justice. At my stop, Priest in Washington, someone changed the tap your card with each ride to tap your mom with each ride. Well, that is if you're a Platinum or Specialty card user. So, uh, yeah, good times with Light Rail. Um, if you guys have any Light Rail stories, I guess that's going to be my little my little thing for today's vlog. I Just funny Light Rail stories. It's just kind of funny because no one in Arizona uses public transportation, um, but they use the Light Rail. So, they're just kind of retarded. I don't know. Whatever. Um, okay, my shout-out today is... Uh, it's going to go to Derek Lee. Derek... If you're watching, um, it was great to have you this weekend in Northern Arizona, and uh, I hope that now you can tell when me and Candace, Jonathan, and James are kidding and when we're telling the truth, and uh, yeah, did those kegs show up? I don't know. All right, peace out. Have a good night, guys, and take care. Later.